Good afternoon on what is a bright, sunny, uh, hot and slightly breezy day. It is Saturday uh, the 9th of July. I am in the Reed Nook with Cat Who's Not Ours and of course my top cup of tea. Yeah, I just need to be careful there. There we go. And the box to continue delving into. Now, we've see, already been into this box a few times, pulled out a few things. So, so far, we have uh, that, what we the Homeworld Revelations Quick Start, uh, Level 1, Volume 3. Um, you see, uh, A Strange Light Breaks, Adventure for Iron Kingdoms. Skitter Warp for Starfinder and a familiar problem. So what all these have in common is that they are all releases for free RPG Day 2022 um, which took place on um, uh, June the 25th in the United States and is taking place internationally on uh, July 23rd. So I'm doing previews of all the releases that I, I've been able to get hold of, uh, which is thanks due to the generosity of, of David Salisbury of Fanboy 3. So the next thing I'm going to pull out is Epic Encounters uh, Bridge of the Droga Cult, which is an encounter and scenario for the, um, oh, there it goes, uh, for Dungeons and Dragons 5th edition, published by Steamforged Games. Um, and um, essentially nothing interesting on the back, You've got the credits and um, the licensing agreement, so that's not very interesting. Um, and what each of these generally, uh, the Epic Counter series is, is generally you, you get provided with a book, comes in a box, you've got some terrain, some miniatures, uh, and an adventure which you can all put together and play uh, and bring to your table and make it look good. Um, so, welcome to this free RPG Day introduction to Epic Encounters, designed to help you take your fantasy role games to the next level. Okay, uh, essentially in this booklet you'll find guidance on running uh, an encounter, tips on making every turn, um, making sure every build turns jeopardy and, and, and excitement, or builds, sorry, uh, jeopardy and excitement, and ensuring that you keep your players on their toes if they have any left after this battle, of course. Uh, so it's designed for all for all three tiers of play, so lower, middle and higher. Um, and um, you've got the basic, basic introduction to, to, to the product, the item, and then we've got the sort of like the uh, adventure introduction, um, which essentially is uh, to um, the player characters encountering a Durgar um, cult. Um, just see if there's going to be anything. So what we've got in the middle, what we've got in the middle is essentially here's the locations for the maps. It's quite dark, um, but nothing or less. And you've got the essentially the, 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 the sort of like the, the, um, the temple itself, um, and that obviously is the that's sort of like the entrance leading up to it. So it's quite a short encounter, but they're going to be big encounters, I should imagine. Um, at, uh, so here you have the introduction to the explanation, what's going on, the plot and everything, um, and basically breaking it down to in further points here on this page before we get into the hooks, which might be um, that um, uh, you, you get a, a summons to come and help uh, prevent uh, the subjugation of the underways, the rise of a deep king determined to crush all, all opposition or liberty in pursuit of some strange and dreadful goal, or um, so you have, there have been Durga raids on the surface uh, and you have to go and investigate, and this is the ultimate, the ultimate sort of like, well this is either sort of like the, the end point of that investigation or it's a, a stop on the way, if you will, um, and um, so on. So you've got multiple hooks there to um, Get your player characters involved, um, and and the you know depending upon the game, the type of game that the that the dungeon master is running, um, she can mix and match those really to tie them into some to, to, to tie your players into, into into the events and get them involved and, and motivated. Um, so we get to um, 
the uh, village of sorry the bridge of Cathbad um, and then the underways is not the, to say it's not the deepest um, uh, layer of the underworld um, at um, and essentially it stretched across a yawning abyss um, and um, your description, description of the location, explanation of what it is, uh, who the enemies are um, and what reinforcements the player characters will face uh, once they get there. Um, so here we have a breakdown of the individual locations, so the iron floor, guard post, mage's watch point, all on this on, on the first, first uh, um, map I'm, I'm presuming there. Um, and then beyond that we have the Monument of Melkor Blight um, at, uh, and, um, and then the Bridge of Cathbad itself. Uh, so um, we, we sort of get into uh, the temple, I presume that's, this is the Temple of Med. I'm presuming that's what that is actually. So you know literally I'm just, I'm getting this wrong even, even as, I'm, uh, as I'm unboxing it. Um, at, uh, um, and um, it's basically it's a huge floating platform hanging above an infinite gulf supported only by rock and two thin chains only do go know how such a thing was achieved and even they are unsure in this unenlightened age um, essentially those who step into the temple are struck in immediately by its implausibility it seems to defy those natural laws which bind the universe together um, yet the player characters must look past the beauty and genius of the place to thwart the dark ritual taking place before them so yes enemies reinforcement description of the platform um, and uh, um, and what they will, that they will find there whether that's ancient pipe works uh, the great seal of med um, uh, and the orb of med, med essentially and the grim seat so that's the full adventure um, and then you have the stats um, Durgar, Durgar Berserker, Durgar Priest these are very cleanly uh, presented easy to read out we'll just just look at them on, on the page first glance then we have Rory Macnessa, Durgar King and Ogre and Imp so those are the types of, of, of enemies that the player characters will be facing uh, on their um, when they come to um, the Durgar cult um, and, and, and the bridge it has um, uh, essentially it's currently guarded uh, so yeah that's everything you need to play and really this is uh, one big encounter um, one essentially or one sort of like it's something you which you can play in a single session or so um and have fun doing it uh and i think you know if you're pl if you're running a campaign uh, which ha has anything to do um with um the underground the underworld um then this is probably worth um adding to it um you know, especially, you know, you're involving the Drow or the Durga or either of those races, that this will really work with that. So, yes, uh, that's um, Bridge of the Durga from Epic Encounters. So, if you've enjoyed this um, unboxing in the nook, then please do click on the like button down below. And uh, if you've got any comments or feedback, I appreciate you taking the time to post those. And penultimately, if you want to be... Um, and be alerted to yet more unboxings in the way you'll see me out here uh, with a box and a book or game which I will unbox and chat about to the best extent of my knowledge for roughly 10 minutes or so all of course accompanied by a nice hot cup of tea and occasionally a cat who is not ours but who's fled for the moment then please do hit that subscribe button and lastly um, I want to thank uh, David Salisbury at Fanboy3 for his generosity in providing me with all of these titles for um, Free RPG Day. If I, um, if I didn't have those, I wouldn't be able to review them or do these unboxings. Um, so I, I, I greatly appreciate uh, um, him providing these for me. And if you're over in Manchester and you're in need of a good game shop, then I do recommend Fanboy3. Great selection of board games really good selection of role-playing games um, and a few times I've been there I've never left um, without finding something interesting to uh, spend my money on. Oh well anyway um, thanks again for watching another unboxing the nook I'll be back again soon with another one tomorrow. Bye for now.